All right, so first up for Top Secret, we're going to play video, and then we're going to go through a bunch of new designs. Take it away past you. All right, Lady, what is this? Oh, so we've been doing revisions for various boards and stuff, but one of the other things I've been doing is revising the tester procedures. So historically, for stuff like the Feather ESP8266 uh, and the ESP32 Feathers, because they have a USB serial converter, I've had to use a Raspberry Pi computer to do the testing. And so the Raspberry Pi would connect over USB and programming using ESP tool. But now that we have um, USB CDC support natively in Teeny USB, I'm using a Pico through BitBang USB, which can actually do the programming for an ESP8266 or 32 via a USB CDC device, which is actually kind of cool. There's like four layers of, of coding that needs to be done. Um, but what's nice is that um, there's no Linux involved. It's super fast. It's super compact. Um, no SD cards or anything. So uh, we're going to be updating all of our testers to hopefully get all of them converted over to be Picoified, as I put it. OK, and then we have some boards that we were, we were posting these around. I might This might be a repeat, but there were so many revisions going on. Um, it's nonstop. You know. This is the Clue revision. Um, so like I said, these, these revisions are coming soon. The Clue and the Feather Sense. Um, I needed to get a replacement for the six DOF sensor. Um, we covered in the uh, great search. I found some good alternatives. Uh, it's just a rendering showing the board. Otherwise, every other sensor I was able to get again, every other component. So it um, should work pretty well with existing projects. You all have to do is update the driver for the XLR on What's this? Um, this is, oh, this is the uh, AD77. Eight five. Uh, this is an HDMI to TTL converter. I have to get back to this. We started this uh, over like holiday break. Um, this is the board to replace the TFP four hundred one. Um, it's an HDMI to TTL converter, um, so you can take HDMI signals and and uh, display it on our cool like square displays. It also has I two S output. And you also got this going on. Uh, this is the feather set. So like the clue, I had to replace the six DOF sensor. Um, but this will be implemented soon. We're going to get these back in stock, which I know people are waiting for. Awesome. Uh, this is the high voltage UPDI programmer. So as I'm working on AT tiny based boards, uh, once in a while, you need a high voltage programmer that gives it a little 12 volt pulse to get it reset. Um, and so this board has a little boost converter and an analog switch that'll do that. And the can BFF kind of what you expect. It's a cutie pie board that adds a CAN bus support with the MCP25625. That's a um, SPI to CAN converter that we've used in a bunch of featherings and boards. It's uh, it's like the MCP2515 with the transceiver and a chip. It's really well supported. Um, and there's a little uh, JST PH connector for getting the CAN signals. And finally, this is a, one of the boards I designed February 20th, 2020. Um, and then never got it fabricated because I just got really busy and then I couldn't get parts. This is the Itsy Bitsy ESP32. So it's got an ESP32 Pico module on the top, which is an ESP32 classic with eight megabytes of flash, uh, two megabytes of PSRAM. It's got NeoPixel, Stomach QT, uh, reset and user button. And on the bottom, it's got the USB serial converter and a um, five volt uh, shifted output pins. You can use it with NeoPixels. That's not a secret. Lots this week. Phew. Phew.